23 remarkable people chosen from across Africa for leadership coaching with a difference. It's going to be an intense personal process. I'm not an emotional person at all. I'm so sorry. Uniquely designed to provoke. Wrongly. How can you compare John Paul II and Hitler? With Hitler? Yeah. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> it's time. Give me the victim. I can't stand anymore listening to all this. Seriously, we are young leaders. We're here to promote a new style of leadership, and that's what we agreed on. You can't go back and be in your 20s or 30s and say, what we need is another dictatorship. We cannot sign up for another 30 years of dictatorship. Unite. I find him very special. He's special. We can influence which road our nations go. And empower them. Power to the people. My mind's racing with all sorts of uh, dangerous thoughts. I feel so challenged and motivated to go and start changing the world. <laughs> Eager to pass the baton of African leadership, their patron, Archbishop Desmond Tutu. You've been given this fellowship because you believe that you are people who can make a difference. And called upon to be the future of their countries. These are Tutu's children.